We are on. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Yes, thank you uh, so much for having me. And uh, ladies, welcome to the Real Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Thank you for saying yes and wanting to be on the show. Look at this view. Isn't this beautiful? Beautiful. All it right. Beautiful. So take a moment. I want to share with you the work that I do. It's all about women's wellness. I'm a women's wellness expert and I am here to empower women. And you're one of the authors in this amazing book that I brought the idea to the publisher and here you are. So by all means, introduce yourself, my lady. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Dr. Olanyinka Holt. I am an immigrant from Nigeria and I'm a mother of three beautiful children, mm. very successful. A 30 year old, a 28 year old, and a 13 year old. My daughter is a public relations um, expert. Uh, expert and she's working currently with Spotify. My son is an investment banker, he's working with JP Morgan. And my 13 year old, he's the most intelligent one. He wants to go to MIT. He said, I'm going to be the next Elon Musk. All right. And I'm grateful because uh, America has given me the opportunity. Um, it was truly when I came to the United States that I had in the back of my head, it said, America is a land of opportunities. And I embrace that opportunity and I take it to the highest level because I needed to prove to myself and my community back home that a woman can be very successful. Contrary to the beliefs that in those days when I was born, that women are only supposed to be raised to be married off. No. My dad did not believe in that. My to dad be a believed daughter in and education. A wife yes. So my dad believed in education. And so way back from then, uh, my dad taught me uh, everything. He wanted me to believe in myself. Um, he told me that I can achieve whatever I can. I wanted to be. That's sad. Yes. And um, it was true. Indeed. Um, I had my bachelor's education. I had my master's, I had my PhD before I came to the United States. And when I came to the United States, the one thing that I've always wanted to be was to be a physician. Mm. And so I started working towards that and made up my mind that when my children, because I was a single parent too, when they're old enough to take care of their activities of daily living, that's when I'm gonna go to medical school. And guess what that was? I was 36 years old when I went to medical school. You started, you're a late bloomer. Oh yes, ma'am. I am. A late bloomer and yet uh, a powerful she that I talk about, you overcame extreme challenges to be where you are. Yes. Okay? Yes. And you still did something that most people would turn around and say, it's too late for me. And you became a student. Yes, ma'am. There is absolutely the N-O does not exist in my dictionary. Please rub it in. <laughs> you, know, you know, after so, I got divorced, I was like 29 years old. And when they told me, go back to school, I'm like, me? I'm almost 30, why would I go back to school? So, well, I, let, me, let me digress a little yes. bit. Yes. I became a single parent when my second son was 40 days old. And I was still determined that I'm not taking no for an answer. I'm going to go to med school. I'm going to achieve my goal. And I'm going to get to the highest level that I can ever get to. Whether there's a limit, I don't think there's a limit. So I, I went to medical school and I became a consultant. Right now, I'm a nephrologist. I am medical director for three dialysis clinics. I have my own nephrology practice. And I still work in a hospital as hospitalist. And, some and about two years ago, I was also chief of medicine in my hospital. Where are you located? I'm located in Laredo, Texas. Texas. Yes, ma'am. So even with all of that, I love the fact that I'm able to serve the community to provide excellent health for them, especially in that region when diabetes and hypertension rave and also kidney problems. But more importantly is the inner goal that I have. When I was going to medical school, my goal was to be able to have the resources one day that I can provide health to people who do not have. Mm -hmm. So I made up my mind that when I, I'm, I'm gonna have a mobile clinic and I'm gonna dedicate, 
two days or three days out of my week and go to different villages. To be a and house train. doctor. Yes, and yes. to people who cannot afford it. But let me tell house you, house calls. I was awakening. I, I had a rude awakening when I realized how much that is going to cost. And I was $450,000 in debt from medical school. Yeah. So I'm like, when am I going to get the money to do this? So I started thinking and researching, and that's how I found, found real estate. And so I started doing real estate investing. And now, yes, and now I, I am um, a limited partner in about 1,600 doors. And I am general partner in so many deals, about four deals right now that I'm general partner in. And we buy real estate, and we, we buy value adds, we improve the property with intention to sell and make money, and also to give people back the independence, not just the financial independence, but also to stop trading stop. time for money. So that they can have more time for themselves to enjoy life and take care of their families. This is beautiful. And you're doing all this in Texas. I'm from California. And when we think about uh, money and purchasing something, uh, a two-bedroom is up almost $900,000. Yeah. Just a two-bedroom condo. So when we think about how we can syndicate and become a real estate, real estate mogul in California, and then I look at the houses over here and I'm like, I can sell over there and come, come over here, here. Yes. and I can become a millionaire oh, yes. in here and do the investments yes. because over there it's like scraping to make ends meet. Yes. But I believe who we are and the impact we make, every single person finds their niche yes. to make a difference. Yes. So I want to say thank you so much for the powerful she that you have become, making an impact in your community and the community larger from healthcare to housing. And you know, both of them comes down to one thing. Yes. And, and my you wife for make doing this. everybody safe. And may I say one last thing? Of course you may. I want to empower women because statistics shows that women don't invest. I think there's a belief that all oh, investment is only for women and for men. For men. Or I don't have enough money to do it. I want all women to know that they can do it and they don't need a whole lot of money to start real estate investing. Really? No. We need to talk. Yes, ma'am. Thank anyway, you so much. I have an event called the 3E event, which is uh, about empowering women. And I would love nothing except you being on stage with me. Awesome. I would love to do that. And until next session, I look forward to seeing you. Thank God you. God bless you. God Thank bless you. you too. Yes. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs>